Number Both two, teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. That makes it second and 14. Second down and 14. Ball on the 21-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Nice run there. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Wants to throw outside. Intercepted. At the 30, he's pushed out of bounds around the 27-yard line. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. First and 10, ball on the 27. 43 is the mic. 10, 59. Brought down at the 25. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And they make the stop at the nine. I'm a huge fan of the play action pass in college football because the play action. It really puts a lot of pressure on the defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game, and it puts them out of position. And it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. It's second and goal. Three yards for the touchdown. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Let's go! And he's tackled around the five-yard line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. And he's taken down at about the three-yard line. The running back hits two on the carry. Fourth down, this isn't much more than an extra point. Stanford is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Stanford's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. He's at midfield. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. That 
now he pitches it. He's tackled right around midfield. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Runs it right and can't get away. Nice tackle. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. North Carolina State is looking to tie things up. The kick is up. It's got the distance. Well, they leave three points on the field there. So we'll change possession with a score, 3-0, Stanford. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. Stanford is up a field goal. Ready! Check, check! Navajo! Navajo! They'll work the left side. He makes it to the 42-yard line. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 42. Quick toss. And down he goes at the 13. Man, that was an impressive looking play. When you can slice apart a defense like that, it puts a seed of doubt in their minds. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. They line up in the jumbo set. And they'll get him in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. He takes it right side for a good game. That's a game of seven on the way. That'll make it 35. They're at the eight. Third down. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. And he hits him hard at the three. Folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. Stanford's got a three-point lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Stanford holds a field goal lead. And he just gets rid of it. They're at the three. It's second down. The throw caught, touchdown. And he converts the extra point. A seven-play, 58-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And they can forget about returning this one. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he's level at the 33-yard line. Just 
throws this one away. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. They hand it off. Good outside run there. Here comes the pressure. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. And it carries them all for a nice game. The defense was playing the run all the way, and they got it right. Nice work. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Let's go! Black, nine, nine. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. I'm sure this running back will be looking around for that guy the next time he takes a handoff. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. Right around the 28-yard line. Call it a game of 10 yards. That'll bring up 32. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. That's a first down, Brad. And I'll tell you, this running back has shown a nose to be able to pick up some first downs. Just a hard-nosed, tough, physical back that when they know they need those short yards to pick up a first down, he's the guy they can turn to. Runs it right. Nice pickup. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Makes the catch and look out. Brought down at about the 41. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop him for a loss of one. Booming kick. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games that you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And they make the stop around the 31-yard line. Nothing flashy at all. But now, that first down marker is a lot closer. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on their own 31. 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! He goes out of bounds at the 32. That's a game of one on the play. That'll make it 35. Check, tight right, tight right, tight right. Solo out there, 
check the outs out there. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Three down. Ready! Right, check, check. Oh, oh, Caught open field, and he's tackled at the 41. but they're going to lose yards. He would tackle immediately. And they lose a couple there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 39. Hey, check, check Mike, 11, check Mike, 11. Oh, yeah. He's out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Strike to the receiver. And they push him out right around the 42 yard line. First and 10, ball on the 42. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's going to go for the home run. Almost intercepted. And this is the eighth play of the drive. That's a great tackle at the 27-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. And he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Quick throw, brought down in the open field. Navajo, Navajo. That will make it second and four. Steps out of bounds at about the five yard line. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive and they'll try to convert again here. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. So they're going to try and determine exactly where the ball was when he went down. So the booth is trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. So the call on the field stands. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Stanford staff, you, you've got to think they're going to be happy. They're almost here at halftime. They've got the lead, and their main guy's not playing very well. Well, to think that they have this lead without him playing well, I think, is a testament to the way they've approached this week. You know, he's he's eventually going to catch fire. I'm sure as they talk to, to one another at halftime, they're probably not going to get too far away from the game plan. Continue to utilize their star player and hope that the others continue to play well in the second half. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 24. Stanford is up by three. Hot. 
He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second-half offense. 10-7, Stanford. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David, but... Could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand-in-hand, hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, well, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But, you know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well, and, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time, and, and that's when you can be ultra-successful. You have to find ways to make people play you know, the game out of their comfort zone. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Stanford has a three-point lead. Tackle made at the 34. That brings up second and It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Taken down at the 46 yard line. Gain of 12 yards. First down. Four down, four down. 43 is the mic. Let go! Green 45. He's tackled around the 47 yard line. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 47. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Outstanding job there by the linebacker to find his way through on the blitz. And this one is a beauty. this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down at about the 31. Hit hard for a loss. Loss of one yard. That'll, That'll bring, bring up second, up second and, 11. and 11. From their own 30 yard line. Second down. They can't hang with us. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. The 
draw play. And down he goes, right around the 46-yard line. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. play of this drive. And he throws it away. From the 28-yard line. Second down. Three down, three down. 17's Mike. Mike 17. Oh! And he stopped behind the line. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Mike 17. Mike 17. Watch the run. Watch the run. There. Catches it. He's immediately tackled behind the line. They get a one-yard loss on that one. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. North Carolina State can tie it up here with this kick. It's up. And he just drilled it from long range. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. And a 10-10 tie in this game. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. And they'll get him in the backfield. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. About four yards on that play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Brought down at the 27. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. He gets rid of this one. from their own 27-yard line. Second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Let's go, D. Fires it out. He's to the 40. Tackle around the 41-yard line. Let's go. 
Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Number 88 was the intended receiver on the From the 46-yard line, that makes it's second down. Hey, check, check Mike, 11, check Mike, 11. Throws it in a hurry, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Here he goes. Gets out to around the 28. Gains his way to the 20 yard line. So, with one quarter remaining, this one's all even at 10. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. 17's Mike, Mike 17. Let's go! Brought down at about the 17 yard line. Up second and 13. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike 17. Mike 17. Ready. 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 Makes it out to maybe the 19 yard line. Him hard at the 31 yard line. That's a loss of 12 yards. That makes it fourth and long. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. A nice job by the offensive line and they pick up a gain of eight. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Gets out to around the 45. Call it again, 12 yards. First down. They get nice yardage on that run. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 49 yard line. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. He ran a good looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Down, 
Let's go! Flag 68! Flag 68! He's at the 30 to the 20. And they make the stop at the 14. That's a DD. That makes it first and 10. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and 10. They line up in the jumbo set. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Just under three to go in regulation. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. And this play is number eight on the drive. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Five-yard loss on the play. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Stanford to kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I tell you what, this is something Pollock could love. Crunch time and a defensive battle. Right, well, he's sitting back at that studio loving this. Two defenses that are really imposing their will on these two offenses. Maybe they could even score to help out one of these offenses win the game. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. He lets it fly. And got him! To the 20, to the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown! Oh, what a huge touchdown pass that is. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick two-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. And boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. So the score now, 2013. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Stanford's plan today was to keep it in his hands. He has come through for him to this point, and now he's got a chance to maybe ice it. Yep, they're going to try to find a way to get him the football in space, and it's going to be up to the defense to have at least two defenders near him to prevent that big play. It's going to be exciting to see how this game finishes up. Just under two to go in the game. Quick pass. He steps out at the 31. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards hey, away up, here up. on second four down. down. <laughs> Fires it out to the tight end, and he's got the first. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 45. Three down, three down. 43 is the mic. Here we go. 
Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. He passes it. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. That's a game of 31 on the play. That, that makes, makes it first, first and 10. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Let's it go. Finds the tight end for a touchdown. Penalty Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. They didn't snap the ball in time. Delay of game, game. Offense. offense. We have less than a minute to go. And he converts the extra point. Just under a minute left in the fourth quarter, and this game hasn't failed to disappoint. It's a tie ball game, 2020. Stanford is lining up to kick this one off. The thing you got going for you defensively, you know your offense is doing their job. You just have to do yours. Yeah, I think one time you have to be able to go out there on the field together and look around and say, guys, I know we're not playing well, but just one stop. The way our offense is playing, if we can come up with one stop, we can win this game. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. And they push him out at the 29. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Rose, and he's right there to knock it away. down 10 yards to go ball on the 13 gives it left side runs it left for a decent game nc state's going to take their first time out of the half the kick is away and the field goal is good. Well, folks, do you think we can see another Cal Stanford? They need to return this all the way to win it. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. A great game here today. In a tight one. 23-20, North Carolina State. for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.